Check it out, folks. Today we're making jerk chicken wings, and guess what? We're making it out of my brand new cookbook, which is up for pre-order right now, Smoking and Grilling. Let's get it. So what we're gonna do first is start with the marinade. Now, this is my garlic infused olive oil. You know what I mean? Seeing how we're gonna be putting garlic in there. You wanna start with that. If you don't have it, regular olive oil does just fine. So we'll just fill this up, gallon Ziploc bag, and then we go from there. Next thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna come with my ginger, right? And what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and just, I, I guess we're gonna use about two teaspoons. Check this out. What you wanna do is you wanna take your dry ingredients because everything is really like a dump and go. So what we're gonna do is just add this in here just like this. What I'm gonna do is drop a couple of these in here, put a smile on my face. For those of y'all been watching me, you know what this does for me. I'll bring this in over here, put it like that. And you see this right here? We don't have to mince. I'll just use the back of my blade. Now we're finna add probably, if I can get this in here, let's see if this is even big enough. All right, oh it is, there we go. So we're gonna use a half of orange. Whoa. Next, we'll do these two limes. These are some nice sizes too. Get the bigger ones, folks. Give you that, you know that, more of that refreshing, you know, flavor, right? Now for the jalapenos, right? So we just cut this. You guys know how to do jalapenos already, you know? So what I'm gonna do is get me a small spoon. So what I'll do is I'll do it right here so you guys can just see it, right? If you take it, hold it like this, take the spoon and scrape it. Look, you see how the guts just come out? You can de-seed and all of that. You know, right here, right? And that half is done. I'm gonna do this other one over the trash, but I just wanted to show you guys just how I do it. All right, so with the meat side up, right? What I do is I just cut them down into like strips, just like this. You guys can do it how you wanna do it, whatever makes sense for you, but this makes it a little bit easier for me. You know what I mean, when I'm, you know, dicing. All right, so I'm gonna go a little bit on the small side. I know I start off a little bit bigger, but I'm gonna go just like this, because we're doing it for the flavor, folks. And then if you got some bigger pieces, you can go ahead and just, you know, cut them down yourself. Then we add the jalapenos, you know, to our mix. And then for me, check this out. Last but not least is the onion. And now we dice these onions inside. And then what I wanna do is, now don't forget, this is our marinade. This is a killer little recipe right here. You guys might wanna, you might wanna check this out here. Now, I take the back of any type of uh, stirring utensil, especially, you know, I use wood and uh, bamboo, right? So what I'm gonna do is just stir it up in the bottom, you know, stir this up. And then my Ziploc bag is kinda like got that bottom on it too, so it's a little bit wide, right? And then those of you guys that ever, you know, made this before, you know that it's got that, that look, that color. Look, I'll just lift it up like that. And the aromatic that comes up off of it is nice. You know, when I say nice, I mean real nice. Okay, now that we got everything mixed up, you can see, oh yeah, I'm looking at it right now, no clumps, no nothing like that. We, yeah, this is it right here. Now you just wanna go ahead and add your chicken. And then we're gonna put these in the refrigerator and we're gonna let them marinate overnight. Close this. All right, and now we just move this around like this and get them all coated. Okay, folks, look, so this is the next day. I waited till it warmed up, so it's right around noon or something like that, right? So as you can see, pull these out. Look at this right here. You wanna talk about a marinade? Look at that right there. Ah, uh, yeah. You guys seen it, very simple to make. You know, just double the recipe, double your, I could probably put a, could have doubled the wings inside of this too. But best thing to do is uh, just double the recipe, then you can do uh, four times as many wings as I did. All right, so come on over here. We're gonna go ahead and get this started. You guys saw that all of my heating element is in the inside, right? This is off to the side. I really had a little bit more over on this side, so I'm gonna move this over like this, and we're gonna go by that. We wanna build up a little temperature inside of here, right? So, if you guys come around here and look at this, 
I'm just going to tell you, this is how I'm going to start venting. I'm going to give you a quick class. And I just want to show you, If you, like I said, if you want to know, we can talk down in the comment section below. If you guys want to see it, I'll make a video. Love showing people how to use this. But you see that right there? We want to vent. Now, I use this all the time. I know that's right. And then if you look down here on the bottom, come here on this side, we vent right here. Look, here and here. And it also takes the old ass. I use this to get my ass down here in the bottom in the dump, right? So if I put it right about there, that'll bring me to 350 degrees. But I'm gonna show you guys how to get that, you know, if you guys wanna see that. Okay, so if we look right here, look, we almost at 400. I already made an adjustment on the top just a little bit. And because I messed with it down on the bottom, I went ahead and closed it just to slow down the burn, just a little bit. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna open this. I know it, we letting out that heat. No way we can get around it. You know, I got that saying, listen, if you looking, you ain't cooking, meaning we didn't let a lot of the heat out of here, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and grab it and I'm just gonna start putting them in, putting them on just like this. Now don't forget, flats will be ready much quicker, you know what I mean, than the thick drumettes. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put them down, meat side down. You know what I mean? We'll just put them like this. If you like what you see right now, you haven't had a chance to see this uh, finish yet, but don't trip. Don't forget, this is one of the recipes that's inside of my new cookbook, which is available for pre-order right now as we speak. You know what I mean? It'll be available at Barnes & Noble, Walmart, and other outlets also. So listen, if you want to get outside and you want to do it, and you want to follow your trusted barbecuer, you know what I mean? Uh, trust me, folks. Pick this book up. We can cook along. We can do something special. And for those of you guys that have it, and you, you know, I'm going to have a way for you guys to show it. And I think I'm going to do something special for you guys, like a little cook-along. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm going to hold everybody's hand and get everybody started. After that, you'll be just like myself. Right? So don't forget, full recipe is in my new cookbook coming out in April. So you see it. I got to hurry up and put this top on here. You know what I mean? Because we want to put that heat on there. Oh, let me explain this part too. Let's look at it one more time. Heating and everything is in the inside. That's the direct, and then the outer is indirect. So let's put this on the top, just the way I had it. I'm gonna watch my temperature get back to about 350. Anywhere in between 350 and 400 is what you want, right? So once I get it there and I get it locked in and it stay rock solid, then I'm gonna check it probably in about 20 minutes. You know what I mean? Because we got flats on there. We don't want to overcook those flats. So listen, as we letting this cook, I want you guys to go ahead and check out this link. It's on the screen right here. Listen, this is a pre-order link. Listen, and then you know what? We pulling names to the first few people that buy it. So listen, once you find a retailer that you want to use, right? You go there and you purchase the book. Then you come back to this same link and then you're going to fill out a form to show your proof of purchase. And guess what, folks? You're going to have a chance to win some of my famous. Listen, when I say famous, listen, even when I do any competition or I just want to pop my collar, this is my barbecue rub. Get it, folks. Okay, so I want you guys to pay attention right there. Look, 350 degrees, folks. You know what I mean? I stayed right around there, right? So we take this off and I look it, look at them. Now I did take it and I moved them around. So we'll take this one right here and I'll just flip that over. You know what I mean? Now don't forget, jerk wings are supposed to be a little bit on the dark side. Right? I ain't talking about Star Wars. I'm just talking about the look. Don't forget to have brown sugar on there, right? A lot of times when it comes to making any food, everybody wants to ask me, or you ask anybody that's giving you a recipe or whatever, how long? You want to get yourself one of these thermometers, right? You see this right here? This happened to be my brand, but listen, this will let me know. I want my wings to be right. I, you know, I like them at 165 only. You know what I mean? Because they small. I put it in here like this and oh my goodness, they ready. So again, these are in my cookbook and I got a little surprise for you for those of got, you guys that stayed this long. Listen, I will be doing a book signing. It'll be in Arkansas. I'll give the date, but I'll give you the month right now. That's gonna be in May, folks. So listen, come on out. Let's sign, let's have some fun. You know what I mean? Bring your seasoning. Maybe we might even do a little cooking, but I'll give everybody the particulars. You know, once I have everything, actually I have it now, I just don't remember the date, but I'll get it to you.
So listen, I'm really, really proud of these. And I got to say this, listen, when it comes to this cookbook right here, you guys are seeing like, you know, just another one of my true passions, right? And that's that barbecue. Took a lot of time, you know what I mean? So I want to say shout out to myself and to the team. You know what I mean? Uh, listen, we put a lot of time and effort into this book. You guys will see over 100 recipes. But with that being said, come on down here and look at this. I don't need no dipping or nothing like this. Listen, when I say jerk wings, if they don't look like this, something wrong, folks. Let's eat. Mm. You can see it cooked all the way throughout. This is how you know when it's right. Crispy a little bit on the outside. When you go ahead and you bite, when you open your mouth, let me give you an example. And you gotta let me know down in the comment section below, do this do happen to you too. When you take a bite and it's something like you inhaling, I can taste the flavor on it already. You know what I mean? Listen, we got that charcoal, we got that jerk. It's seasoned just right, I knew it all. And again, you know what I mean? Not to keep harping on it. Listen, put a lot of hard work into this. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. Listen, we finna get down and go heavy in the paint. You know what I mean? Starting this spring, throughout the summer, and then we're going to run up into the fall until we get till it get too cold to get up, you know, be outside. Now, with that being said, don't forget, I want to hear all of the answers that you guys have to all of the questions I ask down in the comment section below. Now, if you're new to my channel, you know what to do. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell everybody out there. Check this out. There's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And you guys just don't have no idea about the people that's behind here. They ready to, to devour these. So guess what? I'm going to leave them here and I'm out. Peace.